Okay, okay, all right. That was getting a little dramatic. It's just a webcam border pack. It's an awesome webcam border pack, but let's just get right into it. Let's just roll the intro. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am because I finally get to release this awesome video. I've been working on this for a while, working on this template for a long time, and I hope you guys love it. It is a brand new webcam border pack. We did a Stinger transition pack a couple months ago. If you haven't seen the Stinger transition pack, check the links down in the description and you can download any kind of Stinger transition you want there. But here we have webcam borders. A lot of people have been asking for different kinds of webcam borders, so I've decided to design a webcam border pack. And now here is what makes this interesting. We're about to hop into the pack right now right away don't want to waste your time but you do not need after effects to work this template there is after effects files that you can edit to change it to stylize it however you want but if you do not have after effects i have pre-exported webcam overlays that you can throw into your obs right now without after effects if you download this pack down in the description so if you do have after effects and you do want to edit these yourself just go to this timestamp in the video and this is when we're gonna start talking about the After Effects, how to edit it. But right now we're gonna jump into the actual just pack and show you how you can just throw one right into your OBS without After Effects. So let's get right into it. So when you download the pack and extract it, make sure you are extracting it, that's a big step. But once you extract it, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna look like this. You've got your After Effects project here. You've got the fake logo that I always include in all of my templates here. You've got the Photoshop files if you wanna open up a specific one. If you do have Photoshop and edit whatever you want, you can change any of the Photoshop files. And then this folder right here is for those of you who do not have After Effects. So if you open up exports, you're gonna see we've got animated and we've got static. And if you open up animated, you'll see we've got all of these webcam borders that you can throw into OBS. Awesome animated borders. But if you guys did not know, when you put an animated graphic or an animated overlay into OBS, whether that be a webcam border or a little logo up in the corner that's animated, any kind of animation that you put in your stream is going to be harder for the stream to encode. And if you don't have a really nice PC, sometimes animated graphics and animated overlays can cause your stream to drop frames and perform really poorly. So you might want to consider not doing any kind of animated overlays and doing just kind of static overlays. And if we go back to exports, you'll see we've got static and these static ones are just PNGs, as you can see, of the borders that make sense. It's not going to be any of the borders that have saber. The saber borders obviously need to be moving because they look like fire and lightning and whatnot. But all the simple ones that just kind of look like this, they are all available here in a static form for those of you who do maybe don't have a beast PC that can get through it. But now I'm gonna show you guys without After Effects how you can put them into OBS and still edit them to be somewhat unique to your stream. So when you wanna add in your webcam overlay, obviously you wanna to go to source. And if you're doing a static one, you wanna to go to image and then you can name it whatever you want, hit okay. And when we wanna upload the file, you're gonna to go to the static border pack because we're doing an image. So let's say we wanna do this minimal static gradient. So if you select that and hit open, you'll see it brings it in just like this. Go ahead and hit okay. And here we go, we have it inside of OBS. We can do whatever we want. So we're just gonna bring it down kind of in the corner how you would normally have it. But now you can click on it, right click, go to filters and add down here a color correction and hit okay. And then you can mess around with the hue shift and you can change this to be whatever colors you want. And now not only do I include a gradient, so you'll see that there's kind of a dark blue and a light blue in this. I, so I included a gradient version where you have two different colors to mess with, but there's also just solid colors as well. So if you just want one color, you can use that as well. But you see, we've got a nice hue shift here. So let's if you say your colors are similar to that, you can just do that. And there you go. You have got an awesome changed uh, color changed webcam overlay without using After Effects at all. And this works, let me go ahead and delete this. This works for the animated ones as well. So if we wanna add a media source instead for the animated ones, we're gonna to go to the animated and we're gonna throw in, let's say, uh, full energy webcam three. And then when you bring in the animated ones, you wanna make sure you select loop down here. So, cause when it gets to the end of the animation, it needs to loop back. So select loop and then hit okay. And there we go, look at that. We've got an awesome webcam overlay and I've already got a color correction on this. So if we go here, right click 
on the media source, go into filters, you'll see we got our color correction and you can play with the hue and saturation, whatever you want down here, mostly just the hue and you can change this to be whatever color you want. So if you're light blue like that, hit light blue and boom, you've got a custom webcam overlay without opening up After Effects at all. Make it whatever stream color you want, whatever your channel colors is, whatever your logo colors is, and you don't need After Effects at all. All these are available to you right now down in the description. So if you go download the pack right now, however long it takes to download, like five minutes, you will have a free webcam overlay that looks like this. Not, not joking, you can have it right now. So go do that. But for those of you who do have After Effects, we are now gonna hop into After Effects and I'm gonna show you how you can tweak a little bit more and have a bit more of a custom webcam overlay. All right guys, so when you open up After Effects, when you open up the webcam border pack, this is what it's gonna look like. We've got tons of compositions here. We've got full energy border, corner energy border, energy border, minimal border, super minimal border, box border, and your logo here. So the first things first, your logo here. If you want your logo to be in your webcam border, we've got two that include logos. So box border here, you'll see we've got the logo up in the top corner. And you see we've got the little sheen that comes across the logo up in the top corner. So if you look at the logo here, you'll see the logo kind of sheens like that along with the border. And you can change that to be whatever logo you want if you just change it here. And then in the super minimal as well, you've got your logo here between these two lines. Also doing a little sheen as you can see. And on either of these, if you want these animated borders without the logo, you can turn them off. So your logo here, you'll see it down here in the comp, just hide it. You can hide it there on the box border, your logo here, you can hide it here, or you can just go to your logo here and delete it just like that. And you'll see it deletes from both the comps here as well. So there's multiple ways to delete your logo if you don't want it in, but now it's time to go over the colors that you can change. So full energy border, this you can actually change a ton. So when you are installing this template, you need to make sure that you have Saber by Video Copilot. So you'll see if I go over to my effects here and type in Saber, I have a Video Copilot effect called Saber. This is needed for this template if you plan on using one of these ones that have like energy flowing. And if you want to install Saber, there's going to be a link in the description where you can go install Saber. It's completely free. It installs really easily into After Effects. There's tons of tutorials on how to do that. Just get Saber on your PC and then you can open up and use any of these. But if you click on the red solid down here in full energy, go up to effects controls, you'll see that we've got Saber here. We've got a color that you can change here to whatever you want. Any color under the rainbow you can change it to. And then this preset here is huge. You can change this preset to whatever you want and it will change the entirety of the design. So right now we're on one called Fuel. If we change it to Core, Look at that, you can go crazy with it. If you change your default, it will look like a lightsaber and you can play with all these glow spreads and whatnot to get different kind of looks here, all sorts of stuff. Pretty much this is just Saber doing all this for you and I've just made it into the webcam size, made it into the rectangle for a webcam, but I'm gonna change it back to how I had it. You can mess around in these settings, mostly just the preset, the color, and then the glow um, intensity and speed and customized core. You can change the core sizes down here. You can have so much fun inside of Saber, so I definitely recommend playing around with it. Core energy or corner energy is pretty much this webcam overlay that's got some corners like this and then some energy beams that go beneath between the corners. This has got four instances of Saber. As you can see, if we scrub through it, you can see them moving. It's a little low quality because it's having to render, but it's got four instances of Saber, two of one color here, two of another color here, and you can mess around with all four of those down here. You'll see Saber one, two, three, four, and you can see the colors up here. So you can change them to be whatever you want. They can all be different if you want. So we're gonna change that one to that and then change this one to, to that. You can change them to all be different, however you want, super customizable. Um, and yeah, and once again, you can change the presets, the glows, just like you could on the last one as well. Then if we go to energy border, we've got this other border that's just got two energy beams going between it. It's kind of cool. We've got this like design that just looks like it's like spitting out a laser. It's pretty sweet. Once again, Saber 1, Saber 2, two instances, change the color, change the preset, change the glow, anything you want, all the same on this one. Also, just fun fact, all of the um, in and out points are set for you, so they'll loop back for you. So you don't have to worry about the in and out points. They're all ready to export whenever you're done changing your logo and your colors and whatnot. So if we go to minimal border now, we've just got this webcam border and then we've got the corners on the side and they both sheen. So as you can see, we got the sheen that flies through just like that. 
looks kind of cool, it kind of glistens or whatever. And then both of these, you can select on them. And we've got two effects here called gradient ramp and fill. So gradient ramp is what's on them now. So you'll see that they kind of change colors. So this starts light blue over here and turns dark blue here. The corner starts light blue over here, turns dark blue over here. That's because we've got these gradient ramp and we've got it set to those two colors. So if you select on any of these and change the gradient ramp colors, you can have it ramp to different colors. So now it's ramping from green to purple. And then you can do the same thing with the border. You can change it to ramp from light blue to red. So you can change anything to ramp to whatever colors you want. But if you do not want it to ramp, if you want it to stay um, one color, you can turn off the gradient ramp by hitting this FX button and then turn on fill and fill the fill effect down here will just make it one color. So now we've got fill turned on on both and not gradient ramp. You'll see we've got the just one color, but I'm going to leave it on gradient ramp. I think it looks cooler when it's on a gradient. It looks a little bit more interesting. So gradient ramp, turn off fill. There we go. Back to how it looked before. Once again, in and out points set for you. Each one of these animations is about 10 seconds long, so it'll just loop after 10 seconds. Um, super minimal border, this one's pretty cool. Once again, you can turn off your logo really easily, um, but same thing here, main border is just white right now. I think it looks really good white, and I'll show you why a little bit later. Um, and then you've got the corners you can change, exact same thing, gradient ramps and fills. Uh, box border, same exact thing, you got border, you've got the text box, all gradient ramp and fills. And then you've got this white star down here. You can turn that white star off if you want if you want to put any kind of text down in here donations whatnot but i've got the star down there so it can be like your top dono or something and then once again you can turn off your logo here as well but that is pretty much it we've gone through all the borders here if you would like to export them now once again the in and out points are set for you so you just want to click on the one you want make sure you're selected down here go to composition add to render queue then once you're in here you want to change it from lossless to QuickTime. You want to change it from lossless to QuickTime to keep that file size down. Make sure you're changing it to RGB plus alpha instead of just RGB. This is how you make sure that you have the transparent background behind it. So then hit OK. And then this output to not specified yet. You just want to click where it says that and you just want to, that's where you can name it, save it wherever you want. And then once you do that, you just want to hit render and you are done. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I worked really hard on creating these webcam borders for you guys, and I hope any of you new streamers out there that are looking for webcam borders, hope you just found the gold mine and you can find something in here that you love. Real quick, I'm gonna shrink down my camera size here, and I'm just gonna go through all the borders to show you what they're gonna look like so you can just see them flicking through right now. Now, when we get to the super minimal border, one thing I wanna point out is you see how I have this white line going on the inside of my cam border. That is how I designed it. I designed this white line to actually actually sit inside of your camera like this. It's not a, actually a border, so you can make it a border if you want, but I think it looks the best like this. And that's why I told you earlier why I have it set to white, because I think white looks the best. But yeah, this is what all of the webcam borders look like. I think it's pretty awesome, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Also, any of you guys, like I said before, any of you guys without After Effects, you can still use this template, and that's what I love about this. Anybody in the world can have free webcam borders right now if you just go down in the description and download the template. But I hope you guys had a fantastic day and are having a fantastic day. Install some webcam borders and have an awesome time, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.